Hi everyone. Today we are going to look at evergreens. What is good about evergreens? The vitamin C. It can be over five times more vitamin C than citrus. Now what type of evergreens are we looking for? Well, we're going to be looking for eastern white pine, eastern red spruce, and balsam. You want to be looking at the difference of what they look like. So here's a few photos that I'm going to show of what they look like. Well, you're going to be looking at the difference between the leaf structure or the needle structure to say. Um, the branch structure is another difference of is it alternate or world or opposite. Um, where are the buds forming? Is it down the side, like on spruce? Or is it at the tip of the branch structure, like white pine and balsam? How do I get this vitamin C? Well, a good way to get the vitamin C is tea. Um, I like to have the tea, if you like a little uh, antiseptic kind of flavor. That's what you'd be getting out of this tea. Um, History fact. What did the sailors use to not get scurvy? Well, they had evergreen branches on their ships. That's a good uh, lesson to learn in Maine history. Um, so, you can also get starches from these trees. So, how do you get the starches? Well, you be like a porcupine and start chawing down on the uh, bark of the tree. No, you take the inner bark of the cortex of where the xylem and phloem is, where it transports the water and nutrients throughout the plant. You want to also toast that inner bark very thin in the toaster oven or on top of a fireplace or on a rock if you want to be primitive of, uh, over a fire. So those are uh, some ways to get that good nutrients and stuff if you're in a survival situation or you just want to get that good nutrients into your body. So that is some good sources of vitamin C and starches from evergreens. Like and subscribe and visit me at LarkinsWildEdibles.com. See you there.